Hello everyone, I am your friend Vakas Said, and today I am going to tell you the practical example of Modbus RS-485 communication. The practical example of Modbus communication we are covering is Krone MFC 400 converter communication with Modbus Paul simulator software. The main content we cover for this video include the following topics. First is the hardware requirement for the communication. Secondly, we see the signal wiring scheme of flow meter and converter. Then we see the software requirement for the communication. Then we see the parameter setting of Modbus RS485 on the flow meter side and see how can, how can we change this parameter. And in the last we will see the real time simulation of Modbus values on the Modbus Paul software. As I want to discuss all the above content, content in detail, so I decided to upload all the content one by one on my channel. Today is a part 1 video of this topic in which we will see the hardware requirement for this communication. Firstly, we will discuss the hardware requirement for the Modbus communication of Corolysis mass flow converter MFC400 with the Modbus Paul simulator. The first requirement for this communication is the flow meter with the Modbus converter card installed in it. The second requirement for this communication is the Modbus converter which basically converts the electrical signal of Modbus signal to some digital signal. The third requirement for this communication is the laptop or any PC with installed Modbus simulator software and driver of Modbus converter. The fourth and the last requirement for this communication is the wiring which is used for the connection of Modbus signal point from flow meter to the Modbus converters. As you have seen the main hardware requirement required for this communication let me discuss some detailed analysis of the Modbus RS485 converter. Usually, we use these two types of Modbus converter. First one is RS485 to USB converter. This type of converter directly inserted into the laptop or PC via USB port from one end and the other end is connected with the Modbus signal wire A and B. As you can see this end has mentioned with A and B points also we denote it as D plus and D minus signal. Second type of Modbus RS485 converter is RS485 to RS232 converter which includes one RS485 electronic converter, one RS485 to RS232 signal converter, one RS-232 DB9 to USB cable. RS-48 side of signal converter is attached to the RS-485 electronic converter and RS-232 side of signal converter is connected to the DB9 cable whose USB side is connected to the laptop signal and wire A and B of communication is connected to the elect electronic converter of RS-485. That's all for today video. In next part, I will cover the wiring scheme and software requirement required for this application. Thank you for watching this video and visiting my channel. If you have any query, you can ask me on comment or directly contact me on my given number.